bro. Yo, my, my opponent's gonna be known as a garden tool after this fight, you know. It's pretty peak, you know. It, it, I'm not gonna lie, he does have the body of a rake though, bro. He's got tin ribs, there's no meat on his body. He's got tin ribs. Yeah, yeah. The guy looks like a fossil, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's got tin ribs. <laughs> Is he gonna like Telford? Is he gonna like your hometown, Black Country? Oh God, no, no, he's gonna hate it. Um, he's just gonna hear screaming and people going, "Go on, have him!" That's all you're gonna hear. Oh, Times man. five thousand people. So I, I think he's coming to like like deep waters, man. He's coming to his backyard. Yeah, the stadium's gonna be packed full of like like our fans. Like I said before, I think it's kind of disrespectful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That he thinks he's going to get something out of this, I, but I is what it is. Know. I gotta let him know. It's disrespect, man. All respect to him, but <laughs> chins are getting collected on Saturday, man. How do you handle that everyone expects you to win? Um, just pretend that pressure is not there, I guess. Like, it doesn't matter what people think at the end of the day. When I'm in that ring, it's just me, and I've just got to do what I do in training, you know. There's, there's no crowd there for me. There's no audience there for me. The ring walks beautiful, don't get me wrong, but as soon as I enter that ring, it's just me and him, man, so. How's boxing changed you as a person? Wow, that's a deep question, I'm not gonna lie, because that is, it's changed, it's changed a lot. It's changed a lot of stuff. I'm just a more disciplined person, I'd say. If I was to give the answer, it's in one sentence, like, I'm a more disciplined person, like, when things get tough, I don't shy away from things. Um, do you get nervous when you see? Good luck, bro. Good luck, bro. Do you, <laughs> do you get nervous when you see Jai fight? You like brothers? Um, well, like I said before, the Churdleys fight because I wasn't in camp with Jay. Like the nerves were there, you know what I mean. But I called the fight. I called the round when he was gonna get banged, and I was correct. But since I've been in camp with Jay uh, more than last time, there's no nerves. I'm like kosher, like I'm not worried at all. So, yeah. yeah it's interesting. Now there's a tag team fight on the undercard, which I think a lot of people are excited about as well. <laughs> Get him in there! Get him in there! He I'm actually, do you know, after this, do you know, after this interview, I'm cancelling the rest of the interview, you know? <laughs> Just be like this. No, 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 no. no, no. Nah, he, yo, 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 guys, this is the third interview I've said it now, yeah? Get him in there, me and Ramel, the TGF tag team. Yo, come on, man. Why not? I am a very good hype man. I'm here to support my boy. Do you know what? He's like the, this geezer, yeah? He's the, he's the short bronze bomber, bro. The weight behind them hands, he, yo. I'm, if he yo, punch, I've if got, he- I've got cracker wrists, <laughs> yo, what do you oh, see? <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie, I've got cracker ankles, bro. Trust me. <laughs> I've got glass ankles, yeah. I've been, I've been spraining my ankles left, right and centre over the last couple of years. It ain't been nice, you know? <laughs> All right, so do we have a prediction from you? I know, like... Um, okay. I hope to finish him in the first, but if not, the second. What did you, like, make of the fight at the weekend? It took, like, the whole influencer storm uh, to, like, another level. Yeah, it did, man. Um, I don't really know how I felt about it. My prediction was Jake was going to win, but also... I don't think it was a shock that Tommy won. It was like, okay, it's logical at this point, isn't it? He's, he's a boxer, you know what I'm saying, so. I think my prediction was Tommy, it was, but at the same time, I think it shows how influence of boxing's come, really, that you can fight an actual boxer, but, you know, obviously there's levels to this shit, but I think it was sick. I think it was really good. The man. fact that Jake convinced everybody that he could win is just incredible. Incredible. Like, that's madness, that is, bro. I think it was Drake that ruined it. The fact that he placed the bet knowing that Jake was fighting, he kind of yeah, put the right. curse on him and it's his fault. It's Drake, innit, bro? He always does it, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right, innit? Mad. It's oh, bro. Technically, it's Rod Drake's fault. Yeah, yeah, Some juju. Yeah. Fuck Drake, oh, man. Yo, if Drake Dirty ever spice. if Drake ever said anything to me on social media before a fight, bro, I'll block him, bro. <laughs> I'll block him and I would report him to Twitter, bro. <laughs> yeah. also, yo, you can even quote me on that, watch. If Drake ever recognises me, I'm telling him to go die in a hole and get blocked. That's it, bro. There's no better way to end it. We'll leave it at that, but... Okay. <laughs> James okay. Drake to die in a hole. Oh there we go. God. There's your title, bro. Yes.